when you work with an environment, you need to get a special kind of image. And I forget the names of the images. Let me just get that down here so I can remind myself. They're called spherical map, uh, light probe, which is an angular map, and vertical cross images. And they're all large, large files. If you uh, just double click on this spherical map here, let me see if I can, if you can see how big it is. <clears throat> and if I go to the project panel and go to the assets, and we'll go to spherical map. You'll see that it's 3,000 by 1,500. Okay, so it's a big image, and it's been specifically made to have a to be able to use in a 3D space. Let me just uh, zoom out on this one. Shift forward slash. That's the real thing. So it's created such that you can move around in this place. It's a panorama essentially. And so you tell uh, the effect the um, a CC environment effect, what kind of image you've got, which one of those three images you've got. So I'm going to click on this solid layer for a second to show you that. So you say, what is it? It's a spherical one as opposed to probe or vertical cross. And you don't apply the effect to the image. You apply the effect to the solid layer that's the size of your comp. So the comp here is 640 by 480. I kept these guys all pretty small so it would move quickly. It's a relatively small comp, but the image is much, much bigger, obviously. And so you create a solid layer equal to the size of the comp. And then you apply the effect to that. And then you say, what thing are we going to use inside the solid layer? We're going to use the spherical map down here. That's how it's going to work. And then you can take a camera and move around the scene. So the camera is not like built in to the process. You need to add, add the camera and point it wherever you want to point it. But as you point it, as you move it around, you can see down here where the camera is. I'll click on camera. There's the camera up right there. And as you move it around, you can see that the camera is going to pan left. And because the environment connects to the camera, notice the environment is not 3D. The text is th the, here that label things here are in 3D space. But the environment and the solid layer are not. They're 2D. And this camera goes around though and reacts to them as if they were in 3D space. Pretty amazing. It's going to tilt up now. So it's tilting straight up and still sees this environment because it's a spherical environment. And we'll go back down to the right, our right anyways, and back to the beginning. Pretty remarkable. So that's called environment.